Alright guys, I'm finally giving you guys this video, but before we start this video, I just wanted to ask you guys if you can share the living hell out of this video. If you see this, a little over 5,000 of my viewers aren't subscribed. If you've been waiting for a reason to do so, I can't think of a better reason. I really hope you guys enjoy every second of this video. Also, many of you have plenty of requests for me, and I promise I'll do my best to get to them all. The work doesn't stop, so for now, let's start the video. You know, there are many games that are truly enjoyed, but this game is a perfect example of how games should be made. The first Last of Us came out nearly 10 years ago and it still tops most games that have come out since its release. The story is amazing, the gameplay is outstanding, and the graphics are still immaculate. So we're going to start this video with a merit. Understand. Let, let's talk about this in the morning, okay? We'll talk about it in the morning. <sighs> Alright, good night. Hey. Scoot. Fun day at work, huh? What are you still doing up? It's late. Oh, crud, what time is it? It's way past your bedtime. She was clearly sleeping until you turned on the lights. You kept complaining about your broken watch. So, I uh, figured, you know. You like it? Uh, honey, this is... It's what? nice, but I... I think it's stuck. It's not... What? No, 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 no. Oh, ha, ha. Where did you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. Oh, good. We started helping out with the mortgage then. It was never explained how Sarah actually got the money to buy Joe a watch. Hello? Sarah, honey, I need to get your daddy on the phone. Uh, Uncle Tommy, what, what time is it? I need to talk to your dad now. There's something. Uh, Uncle Tommy? Hello? Character loses connection during something important cliche. <laughs> Did you really leave your daughter by herself with the door open? It's literally anarchy outside and anybody would have broken in. Or worse, an infected could have broken in. <laughs> Jimmy, <stay back! laughs> Jimmy, I am warning you! Oh, no! <laughs> Him. Sarah. Something this morning. Sammy, there is something bad going on. And we have got to get out of here. Do you understand me? Yeah. Tommy, come on. Are you going to tell her she has to get out of here only to grab her and take her outside of the house yourself? <laughs> Saving the hair at the nickel time, cliche. It's okay, baby. We're safe. We're safe. Hey! We need help! Stop! Please. It's my daughter. I think her leg is broken. Stop right there! Okay. We're not sick. We've got a couple of civilians on the outer perimeter. Please advise. Eddie, what about Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you to safety and go back for him, okay? Sir, there's a little girl. But... Yes, sir. Somebody we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... You know, I understand you have to follow orders, but there's a child here and your superior is not within range to know you let them go. Had you let them go, you would still be alive. Also, I don't see how Sarah was the one who got shot. Looking at this perspective, Joel should have been the one who got shot since his back faced the soldier. Saving the hero at the nick of time cliche. Ah! Riley? <gasps> Ow. I landed on my hip. What the hell? Are you really playing around by biting a sleeping person's neck? I guess she's a kid, but at times like this, where no one can let their guard down for a second, is a foolish thing to do. Here. Look. No way. Still no roommate? Riley asks about roommates as if they're not in the middle of an apocalypse. Roommates are the last thing that needs to be concerned about. You still have it up. What? What are you doing? I'm making sure I don't get caught with the firefly in my room. Relax. There are no soldiers on the entire floor. This DLC doesn't explain how a 16-year-old girl gets past all the guards guarding the perimeter. Especially when these two head out, you're going to see a bunch of soldiers that you will need to avoid. Sure. Watch out, that's not beer. Please. 
Ellie, drinking from a bottle that belonged to someone is a horrible mistake. These kids are being taught to fight and kill, but not being aware of what can be dangerous to touch. Thank God. Oh, it always feels like we're gonna get crushed. It's fine. I'll go first. The fact that two teenage girls were able to lift that giant metal bar is definitely a sin. There's no way this is gonna work. <laughs> That actually worked. This place has been out of electricity for over a decade at this point, and somehow it still functions properly. I'm aware this is so the merry-go-round can be turned on, but lights require people to work on it in order to turn on, and no one has been working here for a long time. So I'm asking, what is powering this area? Oh my god, I can't believe it's actually gonna work. <laughs> I know. Hit retry. <sighs> what? The machine says the printer is out of order and yet these two don't understand the issue. I have to give credit where credit is due. This little search in this drawer game was extremely fun and I needed more. Minus one cent. You still like that Walkman around? Wait, you know what a Walkman is but you don't know what Facebook is? That makes sense. Hold up. The reason you guys ended that really fun mini game was because Ellie had to get back. Wanna go again? I... I do. I just... You gotta go back. I gotta go back. You mean to tell me that minigame was stopped just for this? And this is where it begins. I remember how this particular part frustrated so many people. People were saying how devs are putting politics into video games and this game lost many fans because of it. It was extremely successful even though it was banned in multiple countries. If I'm being honest, Ellie being gay makes no difference in the game. It's an amazing story and it's one I'll always enjoy. So for the people who refuse to play this game because the main character is gay, you missed out. So the sin is on you. Ellie somehow has the strength to hold back an infected which is never holding back, reminding the player what game they're playing. I see the game also breaks the rule of three cliche. Is this supposed to cover that hole? I mean, adding those books on top definitely finishes the job. Let us through. You guys need to turn around and head back if you know what's good for you. Our beef isn't with you. We just want Robert. You don't want to do this. Turn the fuck around and leave now. I'm not going anywhere without Robert. Bitch, I will bash your skull unless you turn around and get your dumb ass out of here. Fuck this. Take I love how both those guys run when in a bit you'll see them shooting at Joe and Tess. Both of them could have be prepared if things got out of hand. That's right. They're against the main characters. You know, plot armor and stuff. Look at this moron just standing there when he's supposed to be running away from these two. Look, they're basically all dead. We, we can just, just go in there, finish them off. We get the guns. What do you say? Come on. Yeah, fuck those fireflies! Let's go get them! That is a stupid idea. Just the fact that you wasted two bullets for no reason is a foolish thing. Ammo preservation is crucial to a situation quite like this. We go get our merchandise back. How? I don't know. We explain it to them. Look, let's, let's go find a firefly. You won't have to look very far. There you go. Queen Firefly. Why are you here? Business. You aren't looking so hot. Where's Robert? How did you not see the dead body on the floor? In fact, I'm even more eager to know how you didn't hear the gunshots when you were so damn close to them. Was that before or after he left your little militia group? He left you too. He was a good man. Look, just take her to the North Tunnel and wait for me there. Jesus Christ. Just cargo, Joel. Marlene. No more talking. You'll be fine. <sighs> now go with him. Hey Marlene, don't you think you're leaving an important piece of information about Ellie over here? Did you not think about the consequences? What if they see her bite mark and shoot her? People can be very trigger happy on a day like yours. Here's another one of those amazing cover-ups. Definitely couldn't tell the giant hole on the top of the bookshelf. Mm -hmm. 
What's the ETA? Couple minutes. These people are supposed to be military? They fall like they were just given weapons and armor and they were thrown out to the field without any training. Whatever happened to me is the key to finding a vaccine. Oh, Jesus. That's what she said. Oh, I'm sure she did. Hey, fuck you, man. I didn't ask for this. Me neither. No, but you certainly accepted it when Tess confirmed the payment. I saw the merchandise. It's a lot. Wanna do this? Yeah. So in this game, ammo can be extremely scarce. You have to conserve ammo as much as possible, which of course makes sense. But here, you have unlimited ammo. How convenient. <laughs> Saving the hero at the nick of time cliche. Man, this is one famous cliche that developers refuse to not use. Get used to it. You might be hearing that a lot in this video. <laughs> Apparently, you can't hit a clicker that's on the ground. So, why don't you fix one of these cars? Oh my god, you're a genius. I mean, the whole time, why on earth hadn't I thought about fixing one of these cars? You know, I remember watching the story when this game released, and his sarcasm had me in tears. Reminded me of myself. Still does. Now, how could you have a key to that gate when not five minutes ago you said this is new territory to you? past this gate it's all new territory to me you know what i find hilarious about this part not only that it's breaking the rule of three cliche hell even i saw that coming but for some reason these two will have the time to kill all the infected around the neighborhood and they'll try it again then there'll be more infected coming and we'll have to kill them again then these two will push the truck again and more infected will come why didn't they all come at the same time i'm sure they can hear the gunshots all this happened in the same block So you're going to tell me none of them fell during that turn? They must have an inhuman grip if you ask me. Oh, man. Hey, what happened to sleeping? <sighs> okay, I know it doesn't look like it, but this here is not a bad read. Only one problem. Right there. To be continued. <sighs> I hate cliffhangers. Oh, I don't want to hear you or anyone in this story talk about cliffhangers. You guys want to see Ali teleport from this side to the other side? I walked into my sister's room and tripped on a bra. How could this guy just stand in there waiting for an enemy to grab and kill him? <laughs> Has surviving this long during a zombie apocalypse mutated people's bones into titanium? Surely Joe should have been injured severely here. Joe! I'm alright! Are you okay? No! You scared the shit out of me! Oh, I, I scared you. I'm sorry, Ali. I just fell down at least 30 feet on metal. Damn near breaking my spine, but I'm sorry I scared you. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him alone. Joe and Ellie are only alive because of pure plot armor. Had it been anyone else, Sam here would have definitely shot them. I mean, if my brother and I were in the same situation, I wouldn't even hesitate. Welcome to my office. How long have you guys been holed up in here? A few days. We found a bit of food, though. Here. Blueberries. Found a whole stash of them. You want some? No. If I was in the same situation, turning down food would be the last thing I'll do. I get Joe has trust issues, but if I'm seeing Sam eating them, that's pretty much confirmation that the blueberries aren't poison. We're good. Sam, let's go. All right, kid, come on. There you go. Come on. Oh, shit. Hurry, hurry. Stay locked. Hey. Got gotcha. you. Uh, I'm sorry. We're leaving. What? What is this bullshit? If I'm being honest, this trailer really doesn't look all that tall. Henry could have definitely reached his arm out and pulled Joe up. This is by far the funniest sin in the entire game. So, this is 
awkward. Yeah, I know. It's like every time. Clickers! Oh, what? Hey, this thing isn't budging, man. Just go, get out of here. Sam, you stay close to him. Henry, we gotta fucking move! You keep him safe! Go! What do you mean? Shh, shh, shh. Make some noise to get them off Ellie and Henry. Best way to keep them safe. All right now. Y'all stay here. No! Before you start, I need you guys to keep him busy. I'm gonna go around and see if I can't get the angle on him. Okay. Hey. Be careful. Oh, that's innocent, but I promise you guys, that would be me in a situation like this. Moving on. I see this guy's made out of titanium. Random spawning enemy. Not only did I check the entire house, but I also looked around the corner in case someone would sneak up on me. Apparently, characters can spawn out of nowhere for the sake of plot. Here's another segment of unlimited ammo. I mean, I was having a blast with the sniper and shot more than necessary. Where did all the ammo come from? Look at this. Oh, all right, we did it. For some odd reason, I'm able to hear them as if they're right next to me. Oh, all the serious talk. I almost forgot. You know, if it's something I love about Naughty Dog, it's their ability to show perfection when it comes to details. If you go back to where Sam dropped the toy when Henry reminded him about the rule, you'll see Ellie picking it up when no one was looking to give it to Sam later on. Details like that definitely deserves a merit. Sam! What the hell? Oh. <laughs> Shit, he's turning! <laughs> That's my fucking brother! <laughs> Screw it! Oh. Shit! Really? Gotta go right. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Sam? Oh no. Sam? Henry? <gasps> Henry, stay there. Henry? What have you done? I'm gonna get that gun from me, okay? Sam. Oh, okay, okay, easy. This is your fault. This is nobody's fault, Henry. It's all your fault! Henry! Henry, no! Oh my god. Now, I have to admit, that part was extremely sad. Though, I'm surprised Joe didn't see this coming. He saw both Henry and Sam being attacked by the infected back at the neighborhood. Why didn't he make sure to check on them? Joe is a survivor and has been for a long time now. That would have been the first thing I'd do. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Well, Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. <laughs> it's a long story, cliche. Yeah, it's really not that long. Joe had to smuggle you out of that town to bring you to the Fireflies because you are immune to this infection and the Fireflies might be able to create a vaccine with you. That's it. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They got I, families too. Tommy, I need this. You literally just said this isn't for you. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. I know you just want to get rid of Ellie so you'll be free of the struggling to love and care for someone else so you won't have another Sarah disaster. But you have to make up your mind. Those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me! It wasn't worth it. I bring you the cure from mankind and you want to play the pissy little brother. We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. Wow, right on time. Yes, I know, Tommy and his people have been getting attacked multiple times randomly, but the time couldn't be better. So Ellie escaped. She took a horse and went the same way Joe and Tommy are headed. My question is, didn't any of these people see Ellie? They've been waiting here and apparently they didn't see a thing. Now, unless Ellie is also immune to visibility, Ellie shouldn't have been able to pass through here. 
Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. You're right. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. And we are going our separate ways. Get it together. We're not alone. Oh sure, just bash the door open like that. Make some noise, letting them know you guys are upstairs. Hell, if that's not a sin, the fact that these attackers seem to know when to hit on the perfect timing is a sin. Can somebody explain to me how Joel is able to hear six different infected in separate rooms? They're looking for the fireflies. They've all left. Yeah, no shit. I'm dead. Or I will be soon. Got me some time to reflect. Been years that felt like we were You know, if you're looking for something that could be useful to you, it won't hurt you to not skip over the whole thing. <laughs> Elliot, instead of watching Joe struggling with this guy, how about you help Joe by shooting the enemy? I see you. You're literally right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there is no way you just ate a whole pipe to the head. Just because you're immune to the virus doesn't mean you're immune to brain trauma. I think we're safe. Joel? Joel? <laughs> Shit. Joel, here. Oh. There's two things wrong with this. One, where did the snow come from? If you look when Joe and Ellie arrived here, it was bright and sunny. Now it looks like it's been snowing for several hours. Joe and Ellie weren't here for several hours. They just went inside and found the tape and almost got their heads blown off. It's massively sinful that we needed the left behind DLC to know how Ellie actually got Joel to safety. If you take up parts for the store just to have the players buy it, then that's a slap to the fan's face. Just in case the player forgot what they're playing. Now give her the medicine. The others won't be happy about this. Yeah, well that's not your concern. Move the fuck out of the way. You won't survive long out there. I can't protect you. After what you just finished telling her? Sent a group of men out. A nearby town to look for food. Only a few came back. He said that the others had been... Uh, slaughtered. By a crazy man. And get this, he's a crazy man traveling with a little girl. You are the enemy, no matter how friendly you seem. Only a fool will listen to that. Here we go. Okay, not only that Joe has been suffering tremendously for weeks at this point, not only that he's been freezing to damn near death all this time, but that wound has been infected all this time, and he is still breathing? James told me it's the from the university. How many of our guys were killed there? Oh shit, I didn't know that was her. Screw David then. Do you see any other little girl around? Do we need to go back to what David said to Ellie again? And get this, he's a crazy man traveling with a little girl. Either this guy is new or he's incredibly incompetent. <laughs> now where in the world did you come from? As you can see, I went through the entire area killing everyone around the perimeter and out of nowhere, David comes and grabs Ellie. Now I know, it's plot based. David won't appear until Ellie tries to go through the door, but that's still getting sent. You gonna chop me up into tiny pieces? <laughs> I'd rather not. Please tell me your name. You're so full of shit. On the contrary, I've been, uh, been quite honest with you. Now I think it's your turn. It's the only way I'm going to be able to convince the others. Convince them of what? That you can come around. You have heart. You're loyal. And you're special. 
Oh hell nah, that's a little girl. I don't give a damn what you've been through. That's out of line. What am I supposed to tell the others now? Ellie. What? Tell them that... Ellie is the little girl that broke your fucking finger! That line was almost as good as Clementine. You should probably think about being nicer to me line. I guess not. It's not your style, is it? Okay, not only did Ellie stab you pretty good on the rib, but she also stabbed you on the right side of your chest. The fact that you still haven't come close to passing out from the amount of blood loss is incredible. You can try begging. Fuck you. You think you know me? Huh? Well, let me tell you something. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You have no idea what I'm capable of, cliche. Also, did you really not see her reaching for that machete? Welcome to the Fireflies. Sorry about that. They didn't know who you were. And Ellie? She's all right. They brought her back. <sighs> you came all this way. How'd you do it? It was her. <clears throat> She fought like hell to get here. Maybe it was meant to be. I lost most of my crew across in the country. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. Take me to her. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care I of her. I worry. Just let me see her, please. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. The hell do you mean, surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. It does. Find someone else. There is no one else. Listen, you were going to show me where... <clears throat> Stop. I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me, or even her. There is no other choice here. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. Don't waste this gift, Joel. You know, for such a smart leader, you should know your guy isn't capable of handling Joe. At this point, you're just asking to fail this entire situation. Oh yes, let's put something with wheels against the door. It's not like the bin won't roll away once someone tries to push the door open. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. <clears throat> Notice how you see these two up against the wall, but once Joe goes through that door, you won't see any of them as they're, they're not there anymore. Look, I get they're not trying to shoot Ellie, but they're just letting Joe go so easily. Maybe shoot the leg? I'm sure that can be an easy shot since it won't hurt Ellie. And to make matters worse... Crook. Rook. Rook. 
said get back! Hey, come on, stop! Hey. Uh, what the hell am I wearing? Just take it easy. Drugs are still wearing off. What happened? And the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. Ain't done a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. Joe probably felt in his guts that this lad was going to haunt him for the rest of his life or until Ellie found out what really happened. There was no reason. Joe could have at least told Ellie the truth. He made it worse when he swore to Ellie. No lies kept alive. The truth is bound to come. Back when I was bitten, I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So, she says, let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Joe, who you think you're fooling? The entire game, you pushed Ellie away and fought with Tom so he can take Ellie off your hands. Compared to the entirety of the game, you're just now opening yourself up. You just now started fighting for something. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. Okay. Man, I'm telling you right now, I'm so thankful I just started playing this game. I'm serious, this entire playthrough was my very first time playing the game. This kind of cliffhanger would have pissed me off, but the sin isn't for me. Apparently many of you got annoyed when this game first came out. God damn. That's so... That's a lot. What does Ellie know? I told her they just ran some tests. I told her her immunity meant nothing. And she believed you? Yeah, I have to ask that myself. They went through absolute hell to get to the fireflies. The amount of time those two stared death right at the face is inconceivable. They get to the Fireflies location and Ellie wakes up in the car heading home because there's more people? Because her immunity meant nothing? The fact that Joe thought he was going to get away with that lie is beyond me. His best bet was to tell her the truth and telling Ellie he doesn't want her gone. He made his choice for her and she'll be pissed, but I doubt she would have been as pissed at the moment she found out the truth. The fact that this is the only time we'll get to play as Joel is a slap to the player's face. Riding a horse? Really, Naughty Dog? Excuse me. Ellie, there you are. Come here. Seth's got something he wants to say to you. I don't want to hear what that bigot has to say. Do it for me, please. Fine. Seth. Seth, come here. Fuck me. Hey. Uh, look. Last night, I was, uh, 
I was drinking too much. Oh, listen to that. It's the classic excuse. I was being a douchebag and embarrassed you in front of everyone because I was drinking too much. You know how being drunk is. You can't control yourself, but you're aware of everything you're doing. Here we see the useless characters that none of the fans of this franchise particularly likes. Especially Pendejo right there. Mel's pregnant. Oh. Okay. It's not just that, though. Should I say congrats? Everyone else sees this. They're gonna want to turn back. We can convince him, right? You are seeing a whole entire town that is well armed and well protected. You have a small group of people, including a dumb pregnant chick, and you think it's smart to fight a whole town to kill one guy? Are you kidding me? How long has that zombie been there frozen? Once Abby passes by, it grabs her like a trapdoor spider. Aren't these zombies supposed to be lurking and grunting, unable to be still? Ellie is able to hear an infected from that distance. Now where in the world did this infected come from? When Ellie and Dina were on top of the truck, they didn't see anything in sight. Once Ellie crawls under the truck, random infected spawns out of nowhere. That's a lot of dead weed. You know what's funny about this? These two finds a huge stack of dried weed. They find something to smoke the weed and for what? Just by looking at these two, they're not even high. So what was the purpose of showing this amount of weed when it doesn't add to anything? It illustrates they like to get high. A lot of people do. This smells good. I mean, when we struck here a while, right? Supposed to be on patrol and you decide to get high? Definitely setting a great impression. <laughs> so not only that one zombie managed to get through some hole and the others didn't do the same, but this is impeccable Tommy on saving the character of interest cliche. Apparently, those zombies outside decided to stay out and not chase them anymore. Jesse? Just stay there, okay? Are you just, okay? Just, will What's you wait, going on? please? What? Just turn around. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? You're practically dressed already. Both of you. Besides, it's not like he didn't have a piece of you already. Lizard outside. Is that weed? You seriously just noticed. So you and everyone else has this amazing sense of hearing, but the sense of smell is lacking. You scared us. I know. How are you guys doing? We're good. Thanks. Yeah. Can I talk to you for a minute? You want to get those saddles off? No, no. It's all right. We'll just ride out the storm and we'll get out of here. Oh, got any brushes or... Nothing lucky. Hey, you have no idea. I don't get electricity in here. Where the fuck have you been? There are solar panels on the roof. Who are these people? How long y'all been here? Since yesterday. Yesterday? Yep. What are y'all doing out this way? I'm just passing through. You two live nearby? We do. A few hours down the hill. Y'all should come back with us, restock before you head out. Tommy, you are by far the dumbest character in this game. Listen to what you told Abby. Hey, I'm Tommy. That's Joel. You are a survivor and have been for decades at this point. You should know very well you cannot trust anyone and should always expect the worst from every outsider. Why don't you show them where you live? Show them where you sleep while you're at it. you like like you heard of us or something. Because they have. Okay, look, if you're going to kill one of the most loved characters in a franchise, at least make it powerful. Build up tension, come up with great character development. I spent damn near 20 hours playing as Joe in the previous game. 
That's nothing compared to the years fans have invested in part one. And this is how he's treated? Why didn't Abby have her own game? This was massively rushed and poorly done. Joe's death could have been extremely powerful, but unfortunately it wasn't. I seriously have to give credit where credit is due. This game is beyond gorgeous. The realistic lighting and the textures, along with every bit of details in the leaves, the cracks on the trees, the branches, it's amazing and it deserves the merit. <laughs> this uh fuck fedra gate very creative gets right to the point let's get closer and scope it out i'm interested to know how tommy was able to pass through this entire area i mean he had to climb the top of this gate like ellie did i'm sure that's possible for tommy since ellie was able to do it but going forward he wouldn't know the code for the upcoming gates you could say he wrote the code somewhere and left the map and paper with code so ellie can take which does sound very possible but he would have to get gas he couldn't get gas since there was no gas in the courthouse and he definitely didn't go to the synagogue since the crate was away from the gate to climb through so how did he get through well the game doesn't bother to tell us so it gets this oh absolutely out of all the instruments there are in the world, Ellie finds the one instrument that Joel taught her to play. Power of convenience is all too powerful. Talking away. I don't know what I'm to say, I'll say anyway. It sounded horrible before and it still sounds horrible now. Take on me needs spirit and energy. This is putting me to sleep. I say we find shelter and we set up camp. Maybe somewhere high up so we can scope out the area. I like that idea. Okay. Let's look for an open building. Preferably with no infected. Or WLF. Wolf. One, gotta love how the bomb detonates while the horse is in the air. These bombs are wired, so nothing can possibly detonate it if nothing touched it. Two, that was a pretty big explosion for being up close. How is it that none of them besides the horse got severely hurt? Three, where in the world did Dina go? You can see her rolling down, but how did the wolf lost her when she was hurt and shocked from the bomb? Plot demands? I guess so. Ellie will not die or at least get a concussion from that hit. Naughty Dog, you guys are notorious for massive blood armor, but this is just disgustingly ridiculous. Observe. How many came with you? Hmm? Just you two? You can't stop this. Jordan! You're supposed to be out looking for the other one. What the fuck is this? You know the smuggler that we killed out in Jackson? Yeah. This girl was there. What? They're coming after us. That's why Nick was fucked up like that. We gotta get her to Isaac. And we gotta tell him exactly what's going on. Yeah, well, I just got off the radio with Isaac. And we got a new mandate. Kill all trespassers. Well, well, hold up, hold up, hold up. That doesn't make any sense. It's direct order, man. No, let's talk to her. Let's figure out what she I, knows. I don't give a fuck what she knows. You saw what she did to the others? You have no idea how many people she might be with. This might be an ambush, I don't care Mike. how many people she's with. We will find them and we will kill them. Can you just think for yourself for a quick Jordan, second right now? Get the fuck right out of Jordan is the dumbest character in this game. He shoots Dina down and instead of shooting her instantly, he tries to strangle her giving Ellie the chance to save her. This deserves at least 10 cents. Are you okay? Mostly. Ellie. Ellie. We should go. Somebody and it's extremely sinful that the others aren't here yet. Gotta let the main character prepare before more action starts, right? Don't you just love intelligent AIs? Cover this roof. I'll check over here. You sure she's not uh, on the street? Did you look? Ellie, your mask! 
Here, we can share mine. No, 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 no. Don't do it. I'm sorry, but can someone explain to me how two people can share one mask? Fiona takes that mask off for even a second, she's done. I'm immune. I'm not coughing, do you see? <sighs> Fuck. Dina. Shit. Can you run? Yeah. Yes. Let's fucking go. Go. Watch how this clicker and the rest of these infected gave me the time to kill an infected. <laughs> Where's the hundreds of other infected that were right behind me? If you're trying to create tension, you guys failed. You want to tell me what's going on with you? What's going on with me? Ellie, I just saw you breathe spores. I told you. I'm immune. Okay. You're immune? Come on. Dana, let's go back to where she showed you physical proof. That looks like a burn, but you can see the bite. Maybe that's not enough evidence to go on since the burn makes it hard to believe. You just saw her breathe spores. Ellie is standing right in front of you as if she never inhaled any fatal bacteria. What more do you need to believe someone can be immune to this infection going around? Dana? Yeah. Not good. <laughs> I'll go get him. You keep tracking them, okay? It's the middle of the day and I just have one question. How are you guys eating? This guy has terrible peripheral vision. Okay, now that's just overdoing it. It's one thing to develop superhuman hearing, but you can sense the trails the dogs are able to sniff out. <laughs> You know, I have to say, this game failed to be suspenseful. In the first game, during the first playthrough, people kept asking themselves, is Ellie going to die? Well, she crushed us and turned at the end. She has a bite that turns people into fungus like zombies. This game, not so much. It's only pop-ups and shocks. They're very lame, very predictable, and it's just an old gimmick that doesn't work. Hey, I'm in. Get the fuck out of here! Hold on a damn minute. How is that vehicle having trouble turning on when we clearly heard the vehicle being driven and slowing down? Don't listen to Ellie asking Jesse a question. Listen to the vehicle in the background. Tell me you didn't come alone. Give me shit about it later. <sighs> You're a fucking idiot, you know that, right? Yeah. Right. See that truck? Now, some of you can say that could be another vehicle. You can clearly see them getting out of the vehicle. So why is the truck having issues to start when people are shooting? Pretty dumb when you think about it, right? Shit. Oh Shit. <laughs> Ellie, I get this game diminished your intelligence, but I'm pretty sure your side doesn't have a door. And you can get out of the vehicle easier. you go sounds attracting them makes me wonder how the gunshot didn't lower any infected towards your area <laughs> the only reason ellie did not die there is because let's say it together plot armor Anyone else, that thing would have detached their head from their body. The fact that it's walking slowly to Ellie is even more sinful considering how fast they are for such a giant creature. Oh, Press through something three times to proceed, cliche. Also, check this out. You see Ellie struggling to close the door, right? I don't care how strong Ellie is, she's a 19 year old girl and you're going to tell me she's strong enough to keep multiple walkers back? She was struggling against one back in day one. Lastly, Ellie didn't get to shut the door, so when the random walker grabbed Ellie, why didn't the other walkers come to eat Ellie? I need some answers and unfortunately for us, this game has so many plot holes that it's a complete distasteful experience for so many people. <laughs> So a scar shot an arrow through Ellie's shoulder. Ellie somehow will pull that arrow out and act as if nothing ever pierced through her shoulder. Her shoulder. I'm talking about bones. She'll continue using that arm to fight, climb, and escape from danger. Look, adrenaline can help, sure, but it lasts a very short period of time. What's crazy is the fact that you don't see the hole on the shirt. Uh, 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 
I don't care if this is a boss fight or if the character is as big as Goliath. If you're human and you get shot in the head, you go down. Look at how that guy shot before Ellie got the door open and somehow didn't get hit. Where's Abby? I'm fucking dead anyway. Why would I tell you anything? <coughs> Because I can make it quick. Or I can make it so much worse. Think about what he did. How many people are dead because of him? Last chance. I'm not giving up, my friend. In the rule of three cliche also as gory as this game is we don't get to see the damage ali is doing remember when ali got shot with the arrow well here you can see her wound but for some reason her shirt wasn't affected by it yes i already seen that but here we get in a close look at it and it deserves another scent So the game has its 20th flashback and shows Ellie in the same place as where the fireflies were going to come up with the vaccine using Ellie's immunity. Ellie goes through the hall, into the room, and straight to the bag. What are the chances of someone leaving the tape recorder Ellie found in the bag and exposing Joe? At this point, that was years ago. You're going to tell me the batteries for that recorder lasted all this time? Batteries will last months without being used, not years. Off in the middle of the night like that. You talk to me. You don't just leave me a goddamn note. Tell me what happened here. If you lie to me one more time, I'm gone. You will never see me again. But if you tell me the truth, I'll go back to Jackson. No matter what it is. Making a vaccine. Would have killed you. So I stopped them. Oh, 
my God. Don't you fucking touch me. I'll go back. But we're done. Okay, I get why Ellie was frustrated at her. She felt like Joe took her purpose in life, that he didn't give her a choice. But if you think about it, the Fireflies didn't give her a choice either. When Joe and Ellie reached the Fireflies, Joe was knocked out and Ellie was already unconscious because they both almost drowned. Ellie didn't even get a chance to wake up. She was instantly drugged up. The Fireflies were also a terrorist group. Ellie said to Joe herself. My friend and I would argue whenever he called the Fireflies terrorists. Besides, you can't cure a fungal infection. There is no vaccine. But even if there were, who's to say the fireflies wouldn't take advantage of this vaccine and control everyone? Who's to say the vaccine wouldn't be harmful to the humanity that still exists in this world? Fireflies show they cannot be trusted. Damn it. Looks like we're swimming. Why? You can literally climb this van and get to the other side. How did a door kill a human being that fast? Ellie. We can get to the marina through here. No, we're taking a boat. You heard them, right? They're talking about Tommy. We don't know that. Who else is it gonna be? If it is him, he'll be gone by the time we get there. Abby is where he'll be headed, so if we just What fall, if he's in trouble? He can take care of himself. Is that so? Ali, what was it that you said not too long ago? I get why you came out here. But we gotta take her back. She needs real care and she's not gonna get that. Yeah, I know. But I can't just leave Tommy. He's out here because of me. So you're using Tommy to stay here and get your revenge. This is why I stopped feeling sorry for Ellie. Remember when Ellie said this to Joe? Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. Ellie's past is pretty sad. Joel was the one person who stayed with her and created a loving bond with her. But at this point, Ellie is being as toxic as Abby. She's risking everyone's life, including her own, just to kill the person who killed her father figure. Her girlfriend is pregnant and needs medical attention, but Abby is being prioritized before Dina. How many times has Abby risked her life for you? I'm not fucking going there. Then don't. Go back. <sighs> Fuck you, Owen. Hands up. Where's Abby? You're that girl from Jax. Tell me where she went. How do we know you won't kill us? You give her what she wants and we're dead. You guys can survive this. I just need her. Bullshit. Here. Fucking get over here! Point to where she is on this map. The fact that she's trained in combat and doesn't disarm Ellie is astounding to me. It better fucking match up. Okay. What are you doing? She's probably dead anyway. It is not worth Stop. it. Stop! We can talk Back about it. Back the fuck up! Point to where she is. Fucking Christ! <laughs> Tell me where Abby is. Where the fuck is she? Ellie, I know your lust for revenge is more important than anyone else around you, but did you really not notice the bump when she was walking towards you? But Mal is to be blamed as well. Why didn't she say she was pregnant when she had a gun pointing at her? Hey. They got what they deserved. 
but she gets to live. Yeah. Is that okay? It has to be. Look at what she did because one of her loved ones was murdered. Imagine how she will react when she finds out all her friends were killed by you guys. The fact that you guys dropped your guard down this easily is beyond belief. Hey guys, remember Abby? Remember how she brutally killed Joel, the character we connected with throughout the entire Last of Us? Remember how she pretty much shot his whole leg off and beat him with a golf club and didn't want to stop beating him? You're done. You want what I want, right? End it. Now. You dislike Abby, right? Well, guess what? You're going to play as Abby. It's not like Naughty Dog could have made a whole game for Abby before making this game, right? She's a child, not some petri dish. You think I don't... I'm aware of the situation. And you're okay with killing her? No, I'm okay with developing a vaccine that'll help save millions of lives. How many fireflies have died for less? That was their choice. Are you asking me? Or are you telling me this is how it's gonna be? I am begging you to buy in. And what if this was Abby? Look, everything that we've been fighting for, all the sacrifices, all of the horrific... All of that is justified with this one act. If this was your daughter, what would you do? <laughs> this is what a Democrat looks like when they deflect from a question. Ready to roll? Yeah, just about. Hi. Hey. I actually cleared you for active duty. Barely. I really can't believe Mel was cleared to be on the front lines when she looks like she's going to give birth any minute. The fact that she agreed to this shows how ignorant she is. For a smart medic, she obviously doesn't have brains. There's going to be people shooting at her. There will be infected trying to eat her. It's especially sinful since Manny will have Mel in the back of the truck while he's safe inside. Say if you ask. I'd rather not sit around if I don't have to. And Owen's okay with this? Why would it be up to Owen? Because he's the father of your child? Or did you get pregnant by yourself? Hey, girl. Hey, you crazy dog. There's my favorite girl. The only one that'll put up with your shit. Ah, I see. So Abby, the cold-hearted, brutal brute loves animals when Ellie is out here killing dogs left to right. This is just the game manipulating the player to like Abby more. Hey, why have you been avoiding me? I wasn't avoiding you. Come on, you've barely said anything to me since Jackson. I don't know. I, I guess I was shook by Jackson, too. You don't think Joel deserved what he got? I think he deserved worse. I just... I just wish I didn't take part in it. I get it. What kind of a person could do that, right? I'm not saying that. Let's see if there's a way to the hatch. So you're just going to dismiss the fact that you dramatized her and probably more of your friends that went with you on this particular Avengers trip. As to why you guys haven't spoke much since that trip, she told you and you're upset about what she said. I'm surprised she didn't cut you out of her life sooner. Okay, here we go. Got it. Oh no, just slam your baby on that cage. That's fine, he's a wolf, he can handle it. can't tell Mel, all right? All right. Just not yet. Come here. Who's in that body bag? Holy shit. It's Danny. <sighs> no, not Danny. He was such a great character. Man, he was such a great character. Remember the time he helped, um, wait, no, that wasn't him. Oh, but remember when he woke up? Wait, that was Manny. Who was Danny again? Sir, we try attacking their island. Not like this. Not with everyone. It's a big storm a few days out. We're going to use it to mask our approach. You two are going to lead the first wave. Pick your squads, start prepping. I want Owen. 
What are he and Danny getting back? Abby, did he tell Nora you'll be discreet? Where is Isaac? I'll be discreet. Nora is the only one that told you Owen and Danny were sent out to do something. So if no one else told you, what makes you think Isaac wouldn't figure it out? What a magnificent job she did watching herself. Also, Abby survived that blow to the temple. No one that would have killed someone. Main character status, you know? Now, try that. Well? The view is nice. Oh, whatever. Philistine. You want me to lie? Yes, obviously. She's into this Christmas thing, and, uh, it's our one year, so. I think it's adorable. I think you can go fuck yourself. No, I wish someone loved me enough to make me a stocking. You don't deserve one. Want a stocking, or someone who loves me? Both? At this moment, you'll prioritize your vengeance against Joe before anyone who could love you. Just like how you hurt Owen when he was trying to spend time with you and all you cared about was training to fight Joe. What can I do? Let's go back. We can still make training. Sin. Um, so are you? You slaughter people in the most violent way. Ways even the wolf would never act upon. Your level of hypocrisy disgusts me. Wow, right at the moment of killing Abby. This call was interrupted by someone they see as a traitor. That is beyond convenience at this point. They had so much time. Yara! Where's the other apostate? Clip her wings. Yeah. Wow, love. Impeccable timing. Your sister would have loved your help before she got her arm destroyed. Yeah, for some reason she is. It's not like there's anything this girl can use in the bag. Just so Abby can get her stuff again, this is the way she can get it back. Isaac sends you after me. He didn't. What is all this? Gotta take her apart. If I'm gonna fix her back up. I see. Want some? Pass. Suit yourself. Danny's dead. Figured. You want to tell me what happened?
We were cleaning out a small camp. It's just a couple scars and uh, hit this one on the head hard. And he goes down and his weapon's right there. And he doesn't go for it. Instead, he turns to me. And he's old and tired. He was just ready. Kill a lot of scars. And, uh, I couldn't do it. Of course, Danny gets in my fucking face about it. I told him I'm done. He can do it himself if he wants. And he points his fucking gun at me. So I grab it, and then... At first, I didn't even know which one of us was shot. You defended yourself. Stop. I can fix this. I'll talk to Isaac. I am tired, Abby. I don't want to fight over land that I don't give a fuck about anymore. I'm going to Santa Barbara. To chase a rumor? For it more than once. The Fireflies aren't regrouping. They're gone. It's a lead. I gotta see it through. <sighs> what about Mel? She'll be safe here. Okay. We'll talk in the morning when you're sober. Don't do that. Do what? Treat me like I'm fucking insane. You feel the same way. If the fireflies are in Santa Barbara, I go the opposite fucking direction. Sorry I grew up. You should try it. Oh yeah, how do I do that? Should I go find the people that killed my family? Cut into them? I could torture them until they're crying now. <laughs> Okay, so I remember a bunch of people were making this situation so much worse than what it was. First of all, it's just sex. Have any of you seen Angry Joe's reaction to this sex scene? I saw at least 10 reactions like that. I don't know if you guys had it before, but it's really not that serious. So the sin is not towards the game, but towards those highly mature reactions. Also, does it make sense to not censor this scene, but censor the nude picture Leah took for her boyfriend? Lean into me. Where are you taking her? Come on. What are you doing? I'm giving her a chance. Hold on now. You're just going to skip how Abby manages to carry Yara all the way to the aquarium? Let's not forget the amount of things Abby had to climb and she had to jump into a platform only to break and fall into the water. 
Maybe you could say Abby found another way, but we didn't see that, so it's getting counted as a scent. Scars built all this? Seraphites. Yeah, I was gonna say that. It's pretty cool. What's cool? Like, impressive. Awesome. Your own people are hunting you so they can torture and kill you, and you're praying to the founder of this clan? Come on! I'm dizzy! What are the chances you fall into an indoor pool that seems to be in a penthouse? Damn near impossible, right? Spores. Masks on. I don't have one. Do you guys not believe in gas masks? We were on the run. Let me see what I can find. Okay, so Abby goes to find one and lucky enough, she did. This is my question though. That mask has been on that face for years up until this point. It should be loaded with bacteria. The filter needs to work properly in order for that mask to prevent you from dying. Explain to me how Lev didn't inhale one little spore. They're all looking for you. What did you do? Nothing. I told you to stay put. I couldn't. Your friends are all over the place. Did you get the stuff? Yeah. Now I just need to get the hell out of here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a boat out of nowhere. Damn, I wish my days were as convenient as the characters in this game. Hey, do you think maybe he could convince your mom? If she saw him like this, she'd strangle him with her bare hands. How much did he tell you? Not much. I heard some of your people calling him Lily. For a long time, I didn't understand why he was questioning the laws, the traditions. When he explained to me how he felt inside, I told him he had to keep it to himself. So Lev is a girl pretending to be a boy. You know you could have just said that instead of telling Abby an entire life story. And now the actions of Scars are being compared to the bigot in the real modern world. Get down! Saving the character of interest at the nick of time cliche. It's even more sinful since Manny came out of nowhere. gonna be okay when it's really not cliche. Isaac. What the hell are you doing? I need you to hear me out. What's that behind you? He saved my life. Move out of the way. We'll deal with you back home. He's not one of them, please. Abby, move. God damn it, he's just a kid! You have three seconds to get away from that scar. One. You really gonna shoot me? Two. I'm not fucking moving. No! What the fuck? We 
We need to move. She's gone. Oh my god, she's gone. Come on. Those were your fucking people. Yeah, and all of this is on you. If you would've just stayed put and never left the aquarium, things would've turned out much better than your current situation. Mel and Owen would've still been alive because Abby would still be there. Isaac would still be alive, which nobody gives a damn about him. But most importantly, Yara would still be alive. As you can see, that hit Abby right on the head and Abby is still fully conscious. in the air I shoot this one too. Don't you do it Ellie. Get out of here. Stand up now. Don't you fucking dare. Shut the fuck up. Oh. All right. Stop. Stop. Toss your weapon. Toss your weapon. Fuck. No. No. I know why you killed Joel. He did what he did to save me. There is no cure because of me. I am the one that you want. Just let him go. You killed my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it. Wait! Get off of her! The fact that Tommy survived that is beyond me. You're a professional shooter and you miss a huge target from that distance? Imagine this, you play an amazing game. It has two major characters and you connect with them. The game is amazing, you've been playing the game for seven years until the sequel came out. In that sequel, you play as a new character that kills one of your favorite characters in the beginning of the game and near the end of the game, you're forced to fight the other character that you connected with for several years. That's what this game did. You'd be surprised to know how many people stop playing right here. Well everybody, that was The Last of Us Part 2. I know the game didn't start well, but many times it's not how you start, it's how you finish, and at least we got a satisfying end. Uh, damn it. Good job screaming, you imbecile. Had you sneaked up on her, you could have killed her. She's pregnant. So, because she's pregnant, she had nothing to do with this? Uh, I don't know about that. She went on an adventure with you for the sake of your vengeance, and she killed some people along with you. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, Ali, say that next to the baby. Sooner or later, he'll be talking like you as well. <laughs> Ooh, look at those moves. These moves? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at Mama go. Skip. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Come sit. I got something to show you. So I've been putting out feelers for months now. And this new guy heard my story. He told me about a woman that he traded with. Well, he was moving through California. Described her as built like an ox, traveling with a kid with scars across his face. He said they're living along this coast in a beach sailboat right here. That's got to be her. We're done with that, so.
Reckon it's easy. Forget about her. You sitting all comfy way out here? Hey. I'll make her pay. Tommy. That's what you said when we got back to Jackson. Tommy. First of all, all this happened because of you. You telling Abby who you and Joe are start of all of this. Abby probably didn't know what Joe looked like. Second, last time I checked, you persuaded Ellie to give you one day so you can convince Maria by allowing you guys to find Abby and you ran off leaving behind the letter. Third, do you not recall what that one girl was able to do to you, Jesse, Ellie, and Dina? Sure, Lev helped, but let's be honest, Abby didn't need Lev's help. And you're upset because Ellie is trying to live her life and move on? <laughs> the entire game is filled with that shocking factor. It's gotten so old throughout the 20 hours. The fact that Abby has encountered so many enemies out of nowhere, it takes away from the tension. I remember on my first playthrough, I said the second Abby passes through that garage, she's going to get attacked. Okay, so there's a couple problems with this. Ellie got stabbed pretty hard, not enough to kill her instantly, but enough to bleed out to death, especially if she's hanging upside down like that. Also, she's been upside down for a while. You can tell because the sun is going down. Being upside down for that long can definitely do some damage because the blood goes to the skull, giving pressure to the skull and eyes. Even if that wasn't enough to kill Ellie, she should have been weakened or dizzy when she was down. Let's not forget, she is still human. Hold up, man. Aren't you the one that got shot in the shoulder with an arrow by love? <laughs> Yes, that's definitely you. What happened to your wound, and how are you using your arm so effortlessly? Wait, 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 you said Abby. You're looking for an Abby, right? We picked one up uh, a couple months ago. No. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, no, big girl. Blonde. Arms like mine. She had a, a scrawny kid with it. Cuts by his mouth. Yeah, yeah, that's her. You let me go. Let me live and I'll tell you what you need, cliche. There's so many things wrong with this ending. One, they did Abby extremely dirty here. They completely nerfed her to the point she's unrecognizable. And why did they do that? Let's go back to what Abby did to them in the theater. Straight up killed Jesse, damn near killed Tommy, broke Ellie's arm just to break her face, and damn near gave Dean a brain trauma and walked out giving Ellie a last warning. If these rattler scumbags were actual good people and Abby found a good place, Ellie wouldn't have stand the chance. This final fight is not a fight. If you have to nerf a character just so the actual main character can have a chance, the ending fails. For some reason, there are two boats. It's like the Rattlers knew Ellie was coming, so they left two comfortable boats for Ellie and Abby to go on their way. This game has some convenient sins, but this is just going too far. I can't let you leave. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight you. Yes, she will. So now Ellie has to force someone to fight her. This is the most useless fight I've seen in all of gaming. I didn't like it before, I dislike it even more now. So Ellie is swinging with a knife while Abby is just fighting with her bare hands. Gotta love the innovation this game brought. So after everything Ellie went through to get to this point and finally get revenge on Abby for killing Joel, she just lets Abby free? I'm talking about surviving that explosion when Ellie and Dina was riding their horse. 
Ellie getting knocked out from that hit, killing Jordan, then killing the rest of the wolves that was in the same building, escaping from all the infected that was underground, damn near being killed by a walker, getting some help from random Jesse, getting manhandled by another walker only to fall into a river, get shot by an arrow, get thrown like a dirty rag, find Nora, catch some hands real quick, kill Nora, fool Jesse just for petty revenge, find yourself with Tubby, kill a dog, find Owen and Mel, punch and shoot Owen, stab Mel in the neck, saw Abby kill Jesse, saw Abby shoot Tommy in the head, get your arm broken, get pounded on concrete, watch Abby turns Dina's head into mashed potatoes just to swallow your shameful defeat to let Abby go. It would have been different if the player had the choice to kill Abby or let her go, but no, the game decides for you. And now we get to this miserable ending because of Ellie's stupid choices. Had everything she needed to move on with her life. Had a good girl, was a great caretaker to Dina's and Jesse's baby, and a home with animals. How could it get any better? Now she lost everything and even after all that she can't play her guitar. The only thing Joel left her. The first game broke your heart because you connected with the characters, but this game just pissed off almost everybody because in the end, it was all for nothing. 